Hey everybody, welcome back to Coding In My Sleep. Sorry it took me so long to get around to tearing down this ASIC for you guys, but um, it's been about a decade since I've held a soldering iron, so I came down here to Sin Shop, Las Vegas' local hacker, hacker space, and enlisted the help of Nathan here. Yeah, and Sin Shop is uh, uh, Las Vegas' hacker space. We just opened recently, and uh, uh, David asked me if, uh, if we could come over and do a dissection, so, uh, so yeah, we're going to pull it apart, I think. And just from the couple of things he's told me about the, uh, I brought the FPGA with me as well. Um, I think he's going to do a much better job than me. <laughs> so let's go get a screwdriver and start taking this thing apart. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and set the FPGA aside because we're just going to bring it back for comparison's sake later. This thing has been gone over like crazy every chip and resistor on there is known to everyone okay. Okay. so let's go ahead and get started you are the professional I will, uh... okay. yeah so the, um, the screws are probably under these little rubber feet so we're going to pull those off Yeah, now this this one actually came in almost exactly the same case. The old uh, the old cases actually had uh, more like an aluminum mesh on all sides, basically. Okay, okay. They didn't. I think what's one of the nicer things about this one is they actually tried to do directed airflow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Man, that's a big fan. That is a pretty sizable fan. Hmm. Uh, it consumes about 30 watts, so. Okay, okay. I don't know that it needs that much heat sink, but I'm pretty sure this heat sink and fan were actually intended for the next model up. Okay, okay. There were some problems yeah. with uh, power consumption. And this one was originally supposed to be in a case about the size of like a, U like a USB coffee warmer. Okay, okay. And it was just going to have like copper heat pipe straight to the outside of the case, sort of uh, like Mac Mini style. Yeah. yeah. And it ended up, well it was only supposed to consume about 5 watts and it ended up consuming 30, so. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Upgraded yeah. the heat sink a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of interesting too. It looks like, I mean there's just a little, there's no vents in the actual. Oh wait, there's one there. Yeah, so that's pretty good. This air comes in there, and down, and out through the front vents. Well, let's make sure we put that on the right one, right side up when we, uh, when we put, that, <laughs> put yeah. it back together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the USB ports. Are oh, okay, okay, so. yeah. Hard to mess up. So, yeah. yeah. Looks like it's about your standard yeah, so 80 sound. millimeter. Fan. Fan. Yeah, yeah. Boring everyday three pin yeah. connector. Pull one of these out of my computer. I think it's a little bit more swept. I think that these are a little quieter than some of the other ones. But yeah. Oh, yeah, it is actually pretty quiet. Okay. Um, okay. It makes a fair bit of noise. I mean, it's a big fan and it's yeah. ducted. But... Yeah. Cool. So we're down to the heat sink. Yeah, um, so there are these supports. Yeah, so we have all these electronic stations. Yeah, the soldering. The soldering. And then we have all these soldering irons with AVA Express, which is really cool. Set it up yet because people could be doing some dumping rounds. Yeah. Yeah. Someone put a loom to it just recently. She 
Yeah. Well, of course, you know, I dumped my bag in your unofficial company. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't even know, and I did it right. We're getting organized. Which was donated by one of our members. Yeah, so it takes like a gallon of water and kind of set it up. So that works. That's operational as well. Okay, let's pull the heat sink off. Oh, we have to cut out the shapes. Yeah, a lot of lot of Torx bits in this one. They uh, they were all just standard Phillips in the last generation. So yeah, yeah. They're making it harder on us. It's funny they're not. It's not really clamped on very hard. They're very too sturdy. Yes, I think they anticipated me taking it apart. Hey, at least the nails are clipped for this one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, did you, did you see my previous video? No, I, I didn't get it. I, um, I arrived home on a Saturday after having breakfast, and like I'm in like an old crappy t-shirt that's got like maple syrup on it for breakfast. Yeah. My hair, I have a neck beard, and like my fingernails are out to here. But I'm so excited that I got it. I'm just like, grab the camera, we're shooting this now. Yeah. And every third comment on the video now is like, dear God, groom. <laughs> So yeah, that's, and there's a little bit of a heat sink. Run and it runs, and we have a list of tests to see power and speed, so power and speed matrices. You can see people have put their own settings up there just to help out. So like the speed and the power, some of the math book and everything, so that you don't have to do the. So you don't have to work it out. You can trust them if you want. Yeah, because it can take up to an hour to get it perfect. You can yeah. start with their settings and see how you go, which is pretty cool. This is the shelf that was being built on the shop lot that I told you about. Oh, yeah. okay. like so it looks like the standard heat sink. So that, uh, that would be the heat sink grease in your yeah. uh, so old crappy yeah. sticky pad yeah. variety. Yeah. yeah. Never yeah. a fan yeah. of that. I might I might replace that with some Arctic yeah. silver. Yeah. 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 Put it back together. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, right. so this is an Atmel. This is the probably the main um, programmable, programmable processor. Um, Atmel makes the uh, chip that goes in the Arduino. I don't know. This is probably a different one. This might be a 32-bit one or something. Uh, this FTDI thing is probably a USB to serial to interface with between the host computer and the processor. Um, what else is here? Um, uh, this stuff could be power supply stuff, I guess. Um, I mean, the two main things obviously are right there in the middle of the board. Those are the yeah, the yeah. So these are the custom ASICs. The uh, sixty-five nanometer, hmm. which yeah, is I don't know. yeah, pretty pretty freaking advanced for for what it is. And I mean, just for comparison's sake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> those are eight hundred mega hash. Those are five point five giga hash. <laughs> Less than one, five and a half. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. What uh, what frequency do they run at? Do you know? I don't know off the top of my head, but I can find out, and I'll do my best to do so and put it in the description of the video. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. So these are all pads. These are ball grid, grid array pads. So this is probably how these are connected underneath. I don't know. Maybe they used those for testing or maybe they thought about... Well, those are for uh, additional chips. Originally, this one board was going to be for all of their different designs and they were just going to populate it with more chips Chip. the okay. more you ordered. Um, but the power supply... The power supply wasn't really adequate for anything beyond this little guy here. So okay. they're redesigning the PCB and putting it in a newer, bigger case. Okay, okay. Uh yeah, and there's this arm here, so maybe that was for a future version or something. Um, so that's a different type of processor. Like a, yeah, that's generally what runs cell phones and stuff. Who's this guy? Um, Altera. Hmm. Yeah. Look uh, a little closer. No, oh, the light doesn't work. But these should. Oh, focus, focus. Eh. Eh, I can't read it with these. Um, hmm. Might it be time to break out the microscope? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, we get a light, too. <laughs> It's 
So this is the uh, Montera chip I'm looking up right now. Let's go to the introduction. So it's instant on, non-volatile, CPLB, complex program. So that could be another type of kit. Yeah, it's another FPGA. So, so city between yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So they must do some sort of post processing yeah. with that or something still, or like pre processing the feed the um, the data into the if custom. I, if I had to wager a guess I'd say that's what's incrementing is the knobs and feeding the new data into the okay. yeah. 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 It seems like the kind of thing you wouldn't want to bake into a very expensive yeah. ASIC. You just do that on yeah. the side. Well I didn't have to have it now. Like I could have looked at that at the processor and get some more details about that. Yeah, yeah, there's at least you can choose your time, too, you can plan it from there. Okay. And I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, it's a programmable uh, process. The video, process. The video, yeah, it's, a, it's a little bit fancier than what Arduino is. With everything. But, um, it, was, it was cool to see. Like, I'm, I'm sad that I don't need to be part of that, you know. Where's, and they're the wrong side. So I had to send them all back. So I only, I only uh, just noticed the shelf of soldering irons. <laughs> yeah, those are for our soldering class. Yeah, people are not even going to know about Could probably benefit from that. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did a TVB Gone class uh, a couple weeks ago. So. <laughs> Have you ever had it? Have you ever played with a TV begun? No. Oh, they're fantastic. <laughs> it's, a, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a universal TV turner offer. So you press the button and it runs through all the cycles through oh like thousands. Yeah. <laughs> Someone took one to CES. Was it? Was it? I think 2012 it was, or 2011. I think it was maybe 2011. Yeah. I think it was good <laughs> Someone took it to CES. Yeah. Oh yeah, because he got fired over that, didn't he? Yeah. And I think yeah. his moto is banned from CES now or something. <laughs> yeah, because they sent someone and he had a TV begun and he would just go over to the wall of TV displays for all of the people who are releasing TVs at CES and just... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Always gotta be shenanigans. Okay, so the Atmel is a 32-bit APR. Yeah. So this is a... Uh, this uh, Altera chip is kind of a, um, a uh, FPGA chip, so it's probably used for uh, doing a little bit of pre-processing or post-processing for the ASICs. The Atmel is a general 32-bit AVR chip. Um, I don't know if that one's clocked at, but it's probably somewhere 50, between 50 and 100 megahertz. Um, it's a 32-bit chip. Um, FTBI is a USB to serial chip, so uh, that lets the uh, Atmel chip talk to the computer over the USB port. Uh, this whole section of the board is a power supply, I guess. Um, capacitors, I think these are inductors, and then the little uh, controllers themselves, the uh, voltage regulators themselves. Um, yeah. So that's a basic layout of the board, and obviously the ASICs in the center. So the, the economics of it right now are ridiculously good just because that's the only one that exists. Yeah. The more people have them, the harder it's going to get. It's a zero sum game, so the more people are the more you can get it. Um, but it's, it basically follows the same pattern every time. Everyone buys a crap ton of hardware, the difficulty shoots through the roof, and then a bunch of people will suddenly go with it and do it with the And just the serious miners are left again, but at a much higher hash rate than before. It's, it's almost like watching an economic bubble rise, crash, correct, stable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then after one in the tail, it's sort of all about power costs. And, yes, and which is the really big deal with this. It's, it's not even so much about hashes per second, it's about hashes per drill. Yeah. 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 So it's way, way more efficient. Way more efficient. You know, the interesting thing is those processors are actually the same. So they're using the same microprocessor. Yeah. Oh. So. That is interesting. That is good to know, and I'm glad you, you were rolling for that, right? <laughs> yeah. <Yep>. Okay. <laughs> okay. And that's the, the Atmel? Yeah, the Atmel. Yeah. 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 yeah, so they probably were able to reuse 
get that makes code. sense. I mean, there's a lot of similarity yeah. between the two words. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Thank you very much for letting us use your uh, equipment and your, your resources and your brain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I really appreciate it. Couldn't have, couldn't have done this without you. Yeah. I'd still be pointing at the power supply. Well, about the work. This is pretty awesome piece of equipment. Yeah, it's a sort of thing we're always interested in here. So thanks for bringing that down. That's, uh, that's really cool to look at. Well, uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'll come back down here if I get my hands on one of the uh, next pieces of equipment. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Awesome. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, have a great day. You too.